Hey guys, uh, my name's Warren, uh, and I thought I'd show you how to make your own culling system. It's fairly simple. There's a couple of things you need. I stopped by Walmart uh, and bought these uh, unbreakable Como tackle bobbers, uh, the biggest one I could find. Uh, I, I had some old oxygen tubing from a family member that had uh, passed away and uh, knew still in the pack and uh, they don't take it back. So I figured I'd find a use for it someday and I finally did. Uh, I bought these little clamps at Harbor Freight. They're, uh, they're an uh, inch and a half. Uh, they've got a hole. You don't have to drill a hole. They've already got a hole in both, uh, both the handles you can see there. Uh, you can use them like this, or if you need more pressure in a smaller area, you can rotate these up. And these little clamps have a lifetime guarantee, so if one of them ever breaks or tears up, you can carry the parts back to Harbor Freight. They'll give you another one. Um, so here's what I did. The first thing I did was I took this bobber, and on this end that's spring-loaded, I take a pair of needle nose and I just, these needle nose are almost too small, but uh, I put that in there and I, I cut that off. Uh, now the, the little rod comes out, uh, the little spring popped out over here. I throw those away uh, and I've got two ends. I got an end with a round hole <clears throat> and I got the end where your little keeper goes on there to hold your line. And I take a pair of needle nose and I reach in here and I pull this out. Don't need that anymore, so we'll throw that away. Uh, I'm gonna reach in here and get this other insert, pull it out, and I'm gonna cut it off. It's too long uh, because I'm gonna put a screw into that oxygen tubing. And it sort of crimped the end, so I straighten the end up. I cut it off as close as I can. The more screw I got in the tube, the, the better off I am. I put the little insert back in there. And uh, what I do next is I take a little screw like this. You can use a Phillips or a straight slot. This one happen, happens to have a little shoulder on it. I like the ones with the shoulder because it seals that oxygen tubing off. I stick that screw down in there. I stick my oxygen tubing that I cut off, and you can make these any length you want. I made mine 12 inches. Uh, stick it up in there, push it up. It's pushing up on the screw. I take a screwdriver and run that, uh, hold on to the tube down here with your fingers, and I run that screw up there till I feel that where it doesn't want to turn anymore, like so. Now it's locked in there. You can see that the tube is all the way to the insert. So I pull this back down in there, sort of tight. It's gonna, it's on a shaft, so it's gonna float up. Even if it slides down, it's gonna float up when you put a fish on it and put it in a live well. I'm gonna take the other end here, and I'm gonna, uh, same thing. I'm gonna take me another screw. I'm gonna put it in that handle right there. I'm gonna screw that in there, get it started. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna take a screwdriver and I'm gonna run it right, fix it there where you can see it. I'm gonna run that screw all the way down in the end of that handle. Uh, and when the shoulder part goes through, it'll just turn freely, like so. Then I'm gonna take my oxygen tubing and I'm gonna get it started by hand here. Then I'm gonna reach back in there and get my screwdriver back in the screw. And, uh, well, all thumbs. I'm gonna start that screw and I'm gonna pull that oxygen tubing all the way up to the back of this handle, just like so. And I just keep turning that screw to that oxygen tube. And it's sort of hard to turn into that small tubing and that's that'll keep it that'll keep it buoyant too it'll seal that tube off 
And uh, there you have your own culling system uh, for less than $10. Uh, good luck fishing.